everybody and welcome to my channel. That was, that was very dramatic. <sighs> my name is B Carter um, and today we're doing this on my face because it's been a whole day and it's been a whole week and when I say that I mean it hasn't been a good one. Before this happened I looked like a mess, an absolute mess. Um, and you do actually miss the foundation part so you don't get to see the whole mess because I realized about 30 minutes into filming this video the first time that my microphone was turned off. That's what kind of day it's been. So today we're going to be talking about some stuff and some things and we're going to do this to my face and make me a little less scary by the second. See you in there, I guess. Hi. So I just got through 30 minutes of filming this only to realize my microphone was turned off the whole time. The whole time. So we're going to start again. So because you guys didn't hear me before and I'm also not going to put that footage on this video because that would be stupid. We're going to start from the start. Oh, okay, so I went on BuzzFeed because Reddit was not delivering the goods. Um, <laughs> BuzzFeed, like, what else is Buzz, BuzzFeed good for other than trivial, weird shit? So, I wanted to look up what kind of questions, like, ooh, that brightened shit up a bit, didn't it? Um... Weird questions Australians get answered because I saw some shit on Reddit and I wanted to do that, but then I was kind of like, mm, there's really not enough on here for like a full makeup y thing because I'm a bit of a mess today. Honestly. It's been a it's been a whole day, it's been a whole thing. I've got white covered licorice. White covered <laughs> I've got white chocolate covered licorice. If I don't want to throw it down my shirt. Why do Australians call it Maccas? Mac, Maccas, Mac, Maccas, Mac, Macca, Maccas, Maccas. It makes sense. And we shorten everything. Maccas sounds so much better than McDonald's, by the way. Why do Australians walk around the supermarkets barefoot? Don't get offended, we walk everywhere barefoot. Why do Australians say going for a feed as if they're cattle? Well, I mean, we do have a lot of cattle here, so. I don't actually know the answer to that. It's just something that I've always said. Going for a feed, like what else would you say? Why do, okay, <laughs> this is weird. Why do Australians say anything like anything? Uh, a new thing? He spells it A N U H T H I N G. Sweetie, I don't even know how to read that, so I can't really tell you the answer. I'm sorry. And there is another one like that, right under it, that says, Why do Australians pronounce no as Nahu? I don't know what that means. Like it's spelt N A E O U G H U. I'm not entirely sure how you can take a two letter word and make give it like that many letters and pronounce it that way. Like, I personally just say no or nah. Nah, like N A H nah. Nah, mate. Why do Australians call flip flop thongs? What do they call thongs? We call thongs thongs because they're thongs. Flip flops. Is the weirdest name. Like, what did you guys do? Just fucking name it by the sound it made. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. I don't know where we got the name thongs from either, but if you want to get a real weird one, Kiwis call them jandals. I, like, I love New Zealand, don't get me wrong. Like, sandals I get, I guess. But why the J? Why the J? I need to know. If there's any Kiwis watching this, if any Kiwis ever watch this, please. I've, I've asked people before, 
and no one's ever either, either never given me a straight answer or I've been too drunk to remember the answer. So if y'all could please let me know down there where Jandals originates from. Thongs, like when you say what do we call thongs, I'm assuming that whoever wrote this is from the US and they mean a G-string. We call them a G-string or more commonly known as a G-banger. Why do, why do Australians have such trouble pronouncing their country's name? Australia is how he wrote it. U-S-T-R-I-L-Y-A sounds like a sexually transmitted infection. I'm just not entirely sure that you're allowed to come to somebody else's country and tell them how to pronounce their country's name. Like it's our fucking country. It's like me going to Uruguay and being like, it's not Uruguay, it's Uruguay. No. Um, why do Australians drink so much, for fuck's sake? Um, well, Tommy, I don't know if you've noticed what part of the world we're in. We're on the bottom. Not an awful lot more to do down here. But no, we just, we like to have a, you know, got to have a bevy on a Friday every day that ends in why okay this is how intelligent this one is um why do australians and britons but keep in mind when he wrote britons which i'm assuming he means like he was supposed to say something along the line of lines of like brits like the brits like british people but he's written britons b-r-i-t-o-n-s i'm pretty sure it's not how you spell britain um why do they say They've gone to hospital rather than they've gone to the hospital. Because conjunction words, dude. Who has time for that? You get the same amount of emphasis out of less words and less time. I thought it was a no-brainer. Why do Australians say catch you later? Like, what are you going to do? Get your free fishing rod out? Probably. <laughs> No, um, oh god, I don't know. Well, like when you see someone and you, you haven't seen in a while or something like that, or like your neighbour or whoever, you'd be like, we got to catch up. My neighbours are a really nice retired couple. I love them to pieces. They always remember to bring my bins in when I forget because I am useless. Um, but no, <laughs> on a serious note though. You know, like when you see someone you haven't seen in a while or whatever, whoever, whatever the case may be, so how long since since you've seen them um like you say you know we got to catch up like i don't understand how it's any different to see you later if anything see you later just sounds kind of creepy like i'll see you later but you won't see me why do australians always sound like they're asking a question you know i've actually noticed that we do actually kind of do that and I don't know the answer. Maybe it's because we're so nice, you know, keep the conversation moving, keep going. You know, like, nothing's definitive or rude or cut you off kind of thing. I don't know, we're just cool people. Don't hate on our ability to keep a conversation going. Damn. Oh, this one's so cute. She cares about our souls. Um... Why do Australians swear so much with lots of sad faces? Dude, we just do, all right? We just do. It's just the way that it is. And it's okay if you don't like it. Just maybe don't, just don't come here. Because <laughs> you can't really go anywhere in Australia without, like, I mean, <sighs> It's not like everyone swears in everyday conversation. Like, if my nana hears me swear, she'll slap me upside my head. My mum rolls her eyes and then realises where I got it from. Look, we just do. It's just who we are. But, like, I mean, I, like if, if I was, like, at work, like, I don't swear when I'm around clients and stuff. Because that would be stupid. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? My boss would probably neck me. No, she hears me swear all the time, as long as I don't do it in front of clients, because that, yeah, well, she probably would nick me if I did it in front of a client. But no, it's just the way that we are. If you don't like it, maybe just kind of don't come here. Like, 
Not that I don't want anybody to come here, just don't come here if you're gonna bitch about it, that's all. Why do Australians call broccoli broccoli? You don't call spaghetti spaghetti. We don't? Is the only thing I can really think of to say about that one? We don't? <laughs> I. Um, I mean, unless you spoke to someone who's really gra grammatically correct, this is the only thing that I can think of when it comes to this, is broccoli, like, because you know, like, when you have dice, right, and dice is two or more, and then die is one, so maybe, like, in the world of grammatical correctness, which that was so great, um, maybe in that world, like, broccoli is two or more of it, and broccoli is one, don't know, don't know who you spoke to, I have not ever heard anyone call it broccoli, ever. Why do Australians spell barbecue, she spelt it B-A-B-E-C-U-E, -E, with a Q? I feel like, okay, so apparently the C spelling is like the North American spelling and basically the Q spelling is Australian spelling. Why we do it, I don't know how that happened. I also don't know, but I feel like of all the countries in the world about barbecues, like y'all should just follow our lead because of all the countries and all the barbecues, we probably know mostly because we can do it year round because our seasons include summer and are not as hot summer. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Plus, it makes abbreviation easier. Barbecue, BBQ. Oh, I feel like a sunset already and I love it. Why do Australians have to shorten everything? Does Arvo mean avocado or afternoon? We shorten everything because we do. Because it's the way that we are. It's because of what we like to do. Plus, it's fucking easier. And why wouldn't we? Everybody that we talk to on a daily basis understands what we're talking about. So why wouldn't we? You know? If I walk up to someone and be like, hey, I see you, see it's Arvo. They're going to know exactly what I just said. Okay, so to clarify the avo avo thing though, avocado is avo, A-V-O. Afternoon is avo, A-R-V-O. Why do Australians, oh, this is where I was up to. Why do I, before my camera, before I realised my fucking thing wasn't on. Why do Australians put pineapple on anything, everything? Burger, yes. Pizza, yes. Barbecue, yes. Because pineapple. Okay? It doesn't need further explanation. Why do Australians always sound like they have a cold? Do we? I've honestly never come across anyone saying that before. Do we always sound like we have a cold? Because that's super unfortunate if that's what the rest of the world thinks about us. Like, is that what the rest of the world thinks about us? Or is that just... I still have not learned to put my phone on silent. Um, <laughs> why the F? Dude, just say fuck. Why the F do Australians drink alcohol out of their shoe? Because it's a shoey. Alright? Because it's a rite of passage. And because... Why the fuck not? Beats going inside to get a cup. Why do Australians like saying cunt so much? <laughs> okay, look. Because... Is my answer. No. Um, look, Australia is one of those places, actually I'm pretty sure it's the only place where you call people that you don't like mate and your mates cunt. We just do, okay? I don't think it needs explanation, you know? We just do. Why do Australians always end their sentences on a soprano? I don't know what the fuck that means. What does that mean? Andy, what do you mean? Hold on, let's Google this shit. Ah, oh, so basically, I think he's trying to say that we ended on a high note. Do we do that? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Look, I can't answer that because I don't even know if we do it, but now I'm gonna notice every time someone does it. It's probably gonna annoy the piss out of me. Why do Australians put chicken salt on everything? Because, again, chicken salt. We do not require further explanation. Oh, I like this one. Why do Australians put their wine in bags? That, sweetheart, 
That is called a goon bag. And we put our wine in bags, such as a goon bag, the most common being that we can play Goon of Fortune. Goon of Fortune is when you get a Hills Hoist clothesline, which I think is also called a rotary clothesline. One that spins, right? It's in the middle of our backyard, it spins. I'm gonna try to insert a photo of a Hills Hoist clothesline right here. Um, and what you do is you hang the goon bag to it and everyone stands in a different part around the clothesline and you spin it and whoever lands on it takes a chunk. That is Goon of Fortune. You're welcome for that piece of education. So that is one reason. The other reason is that when it's empty, you can blow it full of air and use it as a pillow. Which I have actually, <laughs> I have number one done and number two seen. Why the fuck do Australians call bouncy castles jumping castles? It's so lame. Again, we don't. I have never heard anyone call it a jumping castle. And that is lame. Very lame. And we are not that lame. Why do Australians have election barbecues? Do we? I've never been to one. If we do, and that is a true thing. It's, uh, everybody campaigns in their own way, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a campaign thing or an election thing. I don't know. Whenever people are congregated in one area for a specific thing or a certain amount of time, dude, we have a barbecue. It's a given. We just do. Fuck, we have them at work half the time. Why, in capital letters, these people are rude. Why do Australians insist on calling tracksuit pants tracky dacks? Is it really our life goal to make everything sound unappealing? Well, Ali. Look, tracky dacks, it's just, I don't know. It's just Australian slang, mate. Personally, I just say trackies. It's, uh, do I know what tracky dacks are? Yes, I do, because I'm Australian. But, I mean, mostly they just get called trackies, which is cool too. But, like, I don't know. It's just the way we are. Don't hate. Why do all Australians go to Bali? It's cheap. It's a short flight. And it's cheap. Why do Australians call ice cream floats spiders? I do not have an answer for that. I have no fucking idea. I also didn't know that they were called ice cream floats, but I can imagine what you're talking about because I know what a spider is. Um, basically, like you get soft drink, we usually use Coke um, or something. Um, I have heard them called root beer floats, but I'm assuming you have to use root beer, and I don't even know what the fuck root beer is because. Like, we got ginger beer? Is that the same thing? I don't know. So we would usually use coke and you put a scoop of ice cream in the top and it fizzes up and it's the most amazing thing since sliced bread from 10, year to like age 10 down. Um, spiders are a pretty common thing here. Maybe they just like had this glass of coke, dropped some ice cream in it and saw a spider and went, ah, a spider! And it just took off. Who knows? Um, oh, okay, so I'm going to say this one and my editor who is also my darling husband who is going to have so much fun fucking beeping out all my swear words thanks babe look he can decide if he thinks that this is going to make it in or not why do australians call blowjobs gobbies l-m-a-o-w-t-f why do we call them gobbies ah because it goes in your gob <laughs> that's about all i can think of because we call your mouth your gob like you got a big gob you got a big mouth or um, you know shove it in your gob gob its mouth so that's probably why it's called a gobby I'm guessing I've never actually asked why do Australians love pink so much this is another one uh, we don't she says when she put on pink eye look this is orange and red don't hate um, yeah we don't I don't think I mean not any more than any other, you know, country of people. I don't think. She says, well, obviously, why is everything fucking pink now that I'm saying this? Jesus Christ. I personally don't like pink very much. It's not that I don't like it. I just, I just have a different aesthetic going for me, I guess. 
Okay, I actually kind of love this one. Um, it says, why do you call crisps chips and chips hot chips? Talk about overcomplicating things. This is my favorite part of this. It says, hashtag English motherfucker, do you speak it? My dad used to say that to me all the time. He'd go, English motherfucker, do you speak it? Anyway, moving on. Um, chips, are ch but we don't even call chips hot chips. They're not. You don't have to specify that they're hot. You have chips and you have chips. You have chips and you have chips. They're both fucking chips. They're the same word. Why do Australians keep punching sharks? Things are so crazy down there. What the fuck? Um, do we punch sharks down here? Look, I have heard that like if a shark is coming for you, like punching it in the nose, um, will like stop it from attacking you. I don't know how much momentum you could get under the water, but the only time I've ever actually seen that done was in the, I think it was the movie Tomb Raider with, um, when Angelina Jolie punched a shark in the nose and then grabbed onto its dorsal fin and like rode it back to wherever the fuck it should have gone. I've never seen nor heard of people doing that. If I've missed a news article somewhere, I'm not sorry. Why do Australians call penis an old fella? Um, I don't have one, so I don't know if I can speculate. <sighs> Why do Australians put beetroot in everything? Because beetroot. We've been through this with pineapple and with chicken salt. Why do Australians call a slide a slippery dip? Now, there is a big difference between a water slide, like a slide, and a slippery dip. Y'all need to get that shit right before you come at us like that, all hostile and shit. A slippery dip is like a piece of tarp that you put dishwashing liquid on and the garden hose and you slide down a little hill that dad made in your backyard. Or like my husband and his friends went down to the like beach and they would like put it down the beat like the top down the beach and they'd like just cover it in dishwashing liquid and chuck a bunch of water on it that is a slippery dip a slide is a fucking slide like a playground like a slide or a water slide or something that we call that a slide um a slippery dip is something that we do with our families in summer in our backyards or at the beach there's a difference so we do not call a slide a slippery dip this dude's got to be fucking with me. Why do Australians call cook shrimp on Barbie dolls? I don't want to have to explain that. I shouldn't be explaining that, right? Would it be weird if I explained that? Because I kind of want to school this guy. And so first things first, we do not cook shrimp at all. We cook prawns. Nobody here calls them shrimp. Oh look, my lips match my eyes really well. Like, like too well, like we're at that point where we should have gone with either a really dark lip or a nude lip. But you know what? These are the choices we've made today and we're living with it. Um, so yeah, we don't cook shrimp at all. We cook prawns because that's what everyone calls it. That one fucking commercial has made everyone go, hey, put another shrimp on the body. Whenever they see an Australian and oh my God, God, I want to murder everyone that calls it a shrimp. Barbie is a short word for barbecue, and I feel I'm almost puking in my mouth just at the, the requirement to say that out loud. Why do Australians even go to zoos? At this point, I'm not sure. No, not really. I mean, there's elephants and giraffes and lions and tigers and stuff. It's not like we see that shit on a daily basis. Why do Australians have... The, this is the last one. The lucky last one, and then I'm going to bid you good night. Why do Australians have to be so goddamn hot? Oh, well, thank you. We're just normal people. We just spend more time in the sun, I think. But I don't think that we're any more good looking than the average, the average, wherever you're from, Benzo. Look, you sound like you could be an Aussie, Benzo. I mean, we wouldn't do the Zo part, we'd just do Benno. Like, you'd be Benno. It's like David's Davo. And then you got Maka. And Simo. 
So, thank you so much for watching. I actually had a lot of fun with these questions. Thanks, BuzzFeed. You are good for something. Uh, anywho, any who's you what's it? Um, I'm going to go. It was lovely to hang out with you. It was good. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what you would like me to talk about next time. Um, I honestly have got zero idea when I'm going to be uploading or how often at this point. I'm like, like you're probably aware, my channel is extremely new and I'm just having some fun with it and seeing where it goes. Um, so if you are going to subscribe, which <laughs> honey, I would love you for. Um, I recommend you just turn on the notification buttons if you actually care about when I upload because I can't tell you when it's going to be yet. Maybe one day. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but, you know, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions about what you would like to talk about next time, please do leave it below and I will see you next time.